holds the record for the What two teams will play in the NBA? Who is the second pick in the draft? Who is the only NBA Sports fans, no one will forget where they were during the road to the final three of the two-minute drill. Maybe I care too much. Is that the accusation? Very well. But know this, the six greatest two-minute drill players in the world have assembled to do battle and move on. A guarantee of $100,000 to the winner. The first semifinal is about to begin. Let's meet the players. He's Will Gibson, the 14th seed from Columbus, Ohio, coming all the way out. He's won $35,000 so far. George Byer, the 16th seed. He called himself Middle Tennessee State earlier. He works at the bar. The patrons throw him questions. And the number one player in the world, Larry Glickstein, 41 and 41. His score is incredible. Good luck to you all right now. Let's meet the Spine and the Stingers panel. The coach of St. John's is with us. Mike Jarvis, please welcome him. You, you know, you turned out many times to go to the NBA and stay. It's great to see you finish your education and stay in the college. Good job. <laughs> Steve Garvey is back with us. Please welcome him. Uh, you've been around, so kind of okay. you know the drill now, and, and, and the intensity has risen quite a lot. Getting exciting, Kenny. I tell you, these, these guys are tough. Right. We can't fire them too fast for them. There's water to your right. It's Thank available you. for it. <laughs> Stuart Scott is back with us from ESPN fame. Thanks for being around for this. And semis here. I'm just honored that I get to do a show with the man whose forearms I admired when I was a kid. I used to call Steve Popeye forearms. <laughs> and the tackle football analyst is here, Mr. Paul McGuire. Please welcome him. You guys do such a great job, and we're not kissing up to you. We really love that show. All right, let's get this thing going. Enough frivolity. We got Will. Come on up. Will Gibson. He's won 35 grand so far. His specialty, he says, is Deion Sanders. And you proved it, in fact, because as you all know, having watched this show so many times now, uh, at the end of the show, whoever wins gets a chance to answer a specialty question. Get it correct, double your money. Okay, but we got to get through some other preliminary things first. Feeling good? Oh, all is well. Dressed well for the occasion? Thank you. All right. Mike, from the bench. You're not like a screamer from the bench, right? You're kind of mellow. Oh, no, I'm a very calm, cool, and collected guy. Very nice. Steve, with baseball in the 1970s. We bring this up because he's old. Stewart <laughs> with underdogs. What are you trying to say? No, just, you know, you root for the people who want to come from behind, right? Like, think of those instances. And then Paul has Peter, Paul, and Mary. These are, are people, <laughs> Peter, Paul, Mary names. Think of. All right, you ready? Let's go. <clears throat> Your two-minute drill begins now. Paul. Which Mary set the American woman's record for the mile and the 300 meters in 1985? Mary Decker. Slight. Slight. Correct. Stewart. Joe Namath guaranteed victory over what team in Super Bowl III? Colts. Correct. Paul. Which Celtic named Paul was named to the NBA All-Rookie First Team from 1998-1999? Paul Pierce. Correct. Paul. Which father of... The father of which tennis playing Mary was banned from the Pierce. WT... Correct. Paul. Which Peter won the U.S. Open Men's Doubles Championship with John McEnroe? Uh, McEnroe. Fleming. Go elsewhere. Stewart. Which underdog team swept the Oakland Athletics in the 1990 World Series? The Reds. Correct. Stewart. What unranked ACC college football team upset second-ranked Florida State early in the 1998 season? NC State. Correct. Stewart. Name the MVP of the 1985 Final Four who played for the underdog Villanova Wildcats. Pete. Correct. Stewart. In the 1998 NCAA Women's Tournament, which Ivy League team beat Stanford to become the first 16th seed? Harvard. Correct. He's done. Steve. In what 1976 AL Rookie of the Year was notorious for talking to the ball? Bridget. Correct. Steve. In 1973, which major leaguer was voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame without the five-year waiting period? Clemente. Correct. Steve. In 1979, which six-foot-eight-inch Astros pitcher led the National League in ERA? They are rich. Correct. Steve. Which free-swinging major leaguer tallied at least 30 homers and 30 stolen bases in four different seasons in the 1970s? Bonds. Which one? Bobby Bonds. Correct. Steve. Which Chicago White Sox player was named American League MVP in 1972? Pass. Take out. Paul. Which legendary, legendary football great actor and activist named Paul testified before Congress three times during the Red's Correct. He's done. Coach Mike. Which North Carolina basketball coach invented the four corners? Dean Smith. Office? Correct. Mike. In 1984, who became the first African American head coach? John Thompson. Correct. Mike. Which former University of Houston player became the school's head coach in 1988? Drexler. Correct. Who was the head basketball coach of Loyola Marymount team? What's it? Correct. Mike. Former NBA pro Sidney Moncrief. Arkansas. You didn't get the whole thing out. It was Arkansas Little Rock. 
Can't give you credit because you didn't finish goals off, but a great, great round. 17 points, and you're not done because you get the bonus. You swept everything in Stewart's category. You go to 18, and you showed great respect calling him coach. <laughs> and and, and you, know, you even took away a second to show the respect. We appreciate that. You're into the lead, but two others are chasing you. We're going to find out which two players carry on to the second round when we come back on the two-minute drill. Time now for tonight's Saturn two-minute drill trivia question. Here's the answer to tonight's Saturn two-minute drill trivia question. ESPN's two-minute drill is brought to you by GMC. From professional great people come professional great trucks. And by Original Coors. When you're an original, you do it your own way. Original Coors. Welcome back, sports fans, to the two-minute drill. Will sitting over there with 18 points, a nice first round, but please welcome in the circle of love is George Byrer from Lake Grove, New York. Came in with the unshaved look, kind of creating an attitude here just to get it. Snooze alarm. All right, you saw what happened. Same rules apply, one point, everything's the same. Your bar patrons helping you get prepared. All right, let's go over the categories. Mike has high school hoops. Guy's leaving like junior high now, though, so but we're talking about high school hoops here. Steve has Dem Bums. Talking about Brooklyn there, Brooklyn Dodgers. Stuart, leave me Malone. All right, I'll leave. Yeah, no, stay here. We're talking about Homo sapiens involved with the name Malone there. And then uh, Paul with NFL kickers and punters. All right, settled in? Yep. Your two-minute drill begins now. Paul. Which versatile Pittsburgh Steeler played wide receiver quarterback and punted in a ball in 1995 rookie season? Stewart. Correct. Paul. Which former Saints kicker has made over 400 field goals in his NFL career? Anderson. Correct. Paul. In 1982, which Washington place kicker was voted NFL most Mostly. valuable player? Correct. Paul. From 1994 to 1969, I, Paul McGuire, punted for what AFL team? Cleveland. No, the Bills. Paul. Elsewhere. Stewart. Which former 76er named Malone has made more foul shots than anyone in NBA history? Moses. Correct. Stewart. Which major league team did the character Sam Malone pitch for in the sitcom Cheers? Red Sox. Correct. Stewart. Which broadcaster named Malone was the Pittsburgh Steelers' first draft pick in 1980? Mark. Correct. Stewart. Which Eastern Conference NBA team drafted scoring machine Jeff Malone in 1983? 76ers? No, the Bullets. Mike. Which L.A. Laker guard was drafted out of Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania? Kobe Bryant. Correct. Mike. March 29, 2000, marked the 23rd annual high school All-American game sponsored by which restaurant? McDonald's. Thing? Correct. Mike. Who became a basketball legend at Rice High School in New York? Felipe Lopez. Did. Correct. Mike. Lou Alcindor dominated New York High School basketball in the mid-60s while a student at what school? Powell Memorial. Correct. Mike. Who was drafted out of high school by the Toronto Raptors in 1999 and then immediately traded to the Indiana Pacers? Harrington. No, Bender. He's done. Steve. How many hits do the Brooklyn Dodgers have against Don Larson in Game 5 of the 56 World Zero. Series? Zero. Right. Steve? Which Brooklyn Dodgers center fielder is the only man to hit four home runs in a World Series twice? Snyder? Correct. During Steve. the 1890s, which mode of public transportation preceded the word Dodgers in the team's name? Subway. Trolley. Stewart? Which Malone was the first ever head coach of the NBA's expansion, Toronto Raptors? Jeff? Brendan. He's done. Paul? What 1991 film features swimsuit supermodel Kathy Ireland as a place kicker? Um, necessary roughness was the answer on that last one, Ireland. No sweeps, but you did score 12 points. You're down 18-12. So we know that you uh, are going to try to stay in front of the number one player in all the world. We're going to see if you can do that as we bring him up. He's Larry Glickstein over from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. A lot of pressure being the number one player in the world, all the leggy supermodels, uh, the attention you get from that. And uh, all your 41-point games are going to read your questions in Mandarin Chinese, just to make things know. We'll, we'll keep it in English and, and with the same spirit. All decisions are final, as you know, in this game. Okay. Uh, you need at least 12 points to carry on, okay? Let's go over the categories. Mike, bald guys. <laughs> What's that all about? Steve, all right. guys with big forearm. No, Steve with no nose. No hitters to talk about there. Stewart, not extremely tall. They're tall. That's right. And Paul McGuire with military football. The big question for presidents, can we fight two football games around the world at once? Okay, that has nothing to do with it. Okay. Need 12. Set to go? Let's do it. Your two-minute drill begins now. Steve. 
which California Angel tossed a two no-hitters in 1973. Nolan Ryan, Steve. In his first year as a New York Yankee, which right-hander threw a no-hitter in 1996? Dwight Gooden, Correct. Steve. In 1960, Lou Burdett and Warren Spahn each threw a no-hitter for what team? The, uh, the Braves. Correct. Steve. In 1996, who pitched the first no-hitter for the Florida Marlins? Al Leiter. Correct. Steve. 1975, what American League team had four pitchers combined to throw a nine-inning no-hitter? Baltimore. No, the A's. He's done. Stewart. By what diminutive nickname was the NBA's Anthony Jerome Webb better known? Spy. Correct. Stewart. Which not-so-tall Asian-American tennis pro was number two in the world in the 1996 year? Michael Chang. Correct. Stewart. Which 1989 American League batting champ and Minnesota twin measured just five foot eight inches tall? Kirby Puckett. Correct. Stewart. Name the jockey who retired in 1990 with over 8,800 wins. Shoemaker. Correct. Stewart. Which longtime Calgary Flames right winger of Wee Height scored 51 goals in 1990 to 91? Mullen. Fleury. He's done. Yeah. Paul. In what state capital does the Navy traditionally play its home football games? Annapolis. Correct. Paul. Which Heisman winning co quarterback spent four years in the Navy prior to Starbucks? Training? Correct. What military academy plays Division I football in the Mountain West Conference? Uh, the Air Force Academy. Correct. Paul. Hi, Paul McGuire was 13 all American played for what military school in South Carolina? The Citadel. Correct. Paul. Which Army halfback was known as Mr. Outside when fullback Doc Blanchard was Mr. Inside? Uh, uh, Johnson. No, Glenn Davis. Jar Jarvis. Which Mike balling Jarvis. former Steeler quarterback released an album? Terry Bradshaw. Correct. Mike. Which major league team uh, held a unit of uh, buzz cut? The Al Mariners, Mike. Correct. Which fancy dribbling bald guy played 22 seasons with the Harlem Globetrotters? Curly Neal. Correct. Mike. Which ball 76 center was ejected from the NBA 2000 playoff game after an altercation with Reggie Miller? Uh, Geiger. Correct. Mike. Boisterous college basketball commentator Dick Vitale coached with Detroit. Correct. Yeah. Got that there. For 17 points and the bonus of one sweeping all the mics. You have 18 points. You're moving into the next round. we got to say goodbye to George, but you get $35,000. Not a bad way to say goodbye. Go back, enjoy the guys at the bar, and thank them for helping you get this far. Will's moving on. Larry's moving on. We're going to flip a coin to see who goes first with that during the break on the two-minute drill. Time now for tonight's Best Buy two-minute drill trivia question. Here's the answer to tonight's Best Buy two-minute drill trivia question. We are back on the two-minute drill into the second round of this semifinal. The score is 18 to 18. That's rather close. The tension is palpable, whatever that means. All right, under the Marshall Plan, it stipulates that we flip a coin during the break to break such a tie. When two players have moved on into the next round, the coin was flipped. Will, you lost, so you start first. Okay, you all prepared? Yeah. Winner here, it's $30,000, a chance to change that into 60000 at the end of the show. And remember, the best wild card in the semifinals moves on, too, so both of you go nuts, die for loose balls. Everybody's firing questions at you, right? Right. You set to go? Let's do it. Your two-minute drill begins now. What is the name of the bowl game played between beer bottles and the Super Bowl commercials? Bud Bowl. Correct. In 1988, Wayne Gretzky married which actor? Jenna Snoop? Jones. No, Jenna Jones. Go on. In 1998, which New York Knicks broadcaster returned to TV less than a year after leaving? Mark Robert. Correct. Which sports center anchor popularized the term booyah? Stuart Scott. That's right. Which Major League Baseball team plays its home games at the highest altitude? Uh, Seattle Mariners. Rockies. In what U.S. state was heavyweight champ Joe Walcott born? Jersey. New right. Jersey. Which New York Jet registered an NFL record 22 sacks in 1984? Mark Destin. Correct. What auto pot lends its name to an NBA team? Repeat the question, please. What auto pot lends its name to an NBA team? Pass. Piston. Which legally traveled NFL great was the only linebacker inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1999? LT. Which Atlanta Brave pitcher won the most decisions in the 90s? Maddox. Correct. What team sport involving a thick rope was last in the Olympic event in 1920? Tug of War. Right. Who head coached Syracuse to two runner-up finishes in the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament in 1987 and 1996? Correct. In 1995, which American League Central team won its division by a league record 30 games? The Indians. Correct. For what Big Ten football team did President Gerald Ford play? Michigan. Correct. What Midwest Division team was Chris Gatlin playing for when he was named to the 1997 NBA? Dallas. Correct. In 1990, which White Sox reliever set a major league record with 57 saves? Correct. Which partner of Ty Babylonia had to pull out of the Gardner. Correct. Which French golfer lost his lead in the 1999 British Bledville. Open with a Correct. Starting in 1953, which all-pro middle linebacker spent 20 years with Detroit Lions and the last six years as head coach? Pass. Judgment. Mike. Which Atlanta Hawk power forward was a college teammate of Calvert Cheney? 
Alan Hedges. Correct. Which former Brewer manager was known in his playing days as Scrap Iron? Bill Garner. Correct. Which Raider quarterback said there's nothing wrong with reading the game plan by the light of the jukebox? Uh, Stable. Correct. Which UCLA Bruin and Milwaukee Bucks All-Star won the first John Wooden Award given in 1977? Marcus Johnson. Correct. In 1979, which horse spared to wins in the Derby and the Preakness but failed to win? Couldn't get it out. That was a spectacular bid back in 1979. And to clear a couple things up, you did say Janet Jones, the judges heard you. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you clearly right there. So you did already get that point. And when you said LT, we accept that under Chelsea Football Club rules. Certain athletes are so known by their initials. That's a good one. You have 38, 20-point round. Great work. Come on up. Switch places. Larry Glickstein going to try to knock you out, but not necessarily here. Even if Larry were to surpass, keep in mind the possibility that two players could carry on out of this because we're taking the best wild card from our two semifinals. All right, Larry, you obviously know how the game works. You've done quite well so far. You're down by 20 points. Set to play? Let's do it. Your two-minute drill begins now. What college did Magic Johnson play basketball? Michigan State. Correct. What did Drake Tiger Great was known as the Georgia Peach? Ty Cobb. Correct. In 1961, which Grambling Hall of Fame quarterback threw four touchdown passes in Minnesota Vikings' first official game? Uh, Tarkington? Correct. Which tennis player so upset Sergey Fedorov that his coach told him to take time off during the 1999 season? All right. No, Kornikova. Okay, I'm sorry. Which Washington Wizards guard was a six-time All-Star while playing for the Sacramento Kings? Richmond. Correct. Which pro sports league held its 65th annual draft at the theater at Madison Square Garden in April of 2000? NFL. Right. Which two-time MVP finished his major league career with 660 home runs? Willie Mays. Correct. Which former Cardinal was the last major leaguer to steal 100 bases in a season? Coleman. Correct. In 1995, which U.S. track star gave up her final year of basketball eligibility at North Carolina to focus on track? Jones. Field. Correct. What was the planetary nickname of Miami Dolphins running back? Mercury. Eugene? Correct. Which dominating Chevrolet driver won the Daytona 500 in 1997 and again in 1999? Marlon. No, Jeff Gordon. Oh, As a favor to a family friend, Tom Lasorda selected which catcher in the Piazza. Second? Correct. 1997, which American gold medal winning skater returned to the ice seven months after being diagnosed with cancer? Hamilton. Correct. Which Kansas basketball coaching legend? was himself a player under Dr. James Mason. Riley. Fog Allen. Sun Devil Stadium is located on what college campus? Arizona State. Correct. What former Providence men's basketball player set the Division I record for the most Korea steals in 1991? Donovan. Murdoch. In 1993, which Angels outfielder won the American League Rookie of the Year award? Anderson. Salmon. In what country was the late tennis star Vitas Gerolitis born? Italy. U.S. Which NFL franchise is the only team in the league whose helmets do not feature team logos? Browns. Correct. Which Swede won three Grand Slam men's singles titles in 1980? Belander. Correct. What Massachusetts college did both Tommy Heinzen and Bob Cousy play for in the 50s? Northeastern. Holy Cross. Which long-hitting Brit won the LPGA Championship in 1994 and 1996? Corner. Laura Davies. The biggest upset in the history of the two-minute drill. Will Gibson with 38 is moving on to the championship. But Larry, don't despair because 32, a great score, could very well hold up as the best wild card. You've got 41, 41, now 32. We'll see if that sticks on the next semifinal, but you've got to wait until then. Will, you just got to wait a little bit. We're going to find out if you really know that much about Deion Sanders. You did last time. You're going to try to turn 30,000 into 60,000 when we come back on the two-minute drill. Time now for tonight's original course, two-minute drill trivia question. Here's the answer to tonight's original course two-minute drill trivia question. ESPN's two-minute drill is brought to you by Original Coors. When you're an original, you do it your own way. Original Coors. And by Saturn. Now with two distinctively different car lines, the L-Series and the S-Series. We are back on the two-minute drill with Will Gibson and Will Gibson alone. Congratulations. That was Thanks. a great upset win all the way from Columbus, so it was worth the trip, the airfare and everything. Oh, sure. So. Uh, and you're going to get some free air for now. You're going to Hawaii. That's your ESPN experience. You're going to go to the Pro Bowl in Hawaii. Uh, you've won 30000 in this show. Right. 35000 previously. That's sixty five. Now you're going for thirty more to double. This show is 30 altogether. 95 the possibility if you can get this correct. Okay? Good deal. Let's do it. Deion Sanders still. Yep. Deion Sanders. He's been a world-class professional athlete with the Yankees and the Cowboys and the Redskins and the Braves. And so many more. But what about his salad days back in college in Florida State? Dion hauled in 14 career interceptions for the Knolls, not including three crucial interceptions in bowl games. For $60,000, tell me against which three teams Dion had those three interceptions. 
and matched the opposing team to the bowl game Dion was in when each interception occurred. That's one of them. Sugar Bowl. The other one, the Gator Bowl against Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. But you got sixty-five thousand dollars so far, and there's nothing wrong with that. Go to the Pro Bowl, and you are the first man in the history of the world to move on into the championship round of the two-minute drill. Going to find out who's going to join you next. The other semi in the next show. It's Fredmore and Gatus and Jividen. Thanks to the panel for being here. We'll see you in the title game. See you next time on the two-minute drill. Two Minute Drill has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.